What's up, everybody? This is the Jedi. And I would just want to say that after my last live stream that many of you have seen and many of you were part of, my breakdown at the end was just everything rushing back at me. You know, the years, the time that I've put in. Thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of hours. And then many other thousands that just never made it to public viewing. I started in 2014. My first video was called Slavery, Slavery, Black People, and Christianity. That was my first video. Over 2,000 videos later, 23,000 subscribers, over 4.5 million views on my channel. I had been trying to move my people, move my people. Let us come together and act. I've chosen this because in the last day of trying to collect myself, because what set me on my, my decline was during the live stream, if you go back and watch my last video is a live stream. I was reciting once again how I had been for years trying to get my brothers to step up to join the Black Independence Liberation League so that we can make a difference. We can have an organization of our people to unify us to begin to push back on every single level against the oppression of our people. And oh, by the way, there's been at least three more killings of us since my video. I've never been one to stand aside and look. I just, I can't. I can't. And after I started the Black Independence Liberation League and I began to try to recruit for that organization I had people that I that can't even listen to me. I'm in a video, just like as if I was in this video right now, and I mention it. And I say, but you're going to have to send me your email, make sure you have a picture up. And because the whole reason for that is because we need to be able to speak privately. Also, I need to make sure that you're not a white devil. So I need a picture, obviously. And then I also need to be able to Skype with you so I can interview you one-on-one. -on -one. Because every single organization that, that exists now and everyone that came before it, supposedly representing our people, has not began with just that model of filtering every single body that comes in, period. And then I had a whole blueprint. This was going to be like nothing else that came before it. It was going to transcend every single attempt at black liberation that had ever been mounted. And by the time I got to 5,000 subscribers, I thought, well, maybe I just have enough people haven't seen me. But then that view count. So by the time you get to nearly 5 million views, quite frankly, because I think it was 4 million. I don't remember. Once you see 4 million, you don't kind of really see the rest of the number. So that's why I always just say four, over 4.5 four million views. So then by the time you get to 10,000 subscribers, you go, well, I've been saying this enough now. I've been saying it. 
then you get to 20,000, then you get to 23,000, then you add the Jedi Revolution channel and you've got 5,000 subscribers there, then you add Jedi Kids, you're being watched in 26 countries in Africa, the UK, um, um, Oh my God! Where there was a brother that I can't remember. Just countries I can't even name now. But sir, and then of course all over the U.S. My point for mentioning this is that enough people had been exposed to me and my message and what I was trying to do, and somehow people were still just taking me as entertainment, and I'm not here. For your entertainment. Then the final straw. And why I was crying in my last live stream. And could not go on. Literally. Because I tried to. I left. You guys. If you watched it. I got up. I went to the bathroom. I got some tissue. I came back. I, the emotion was just too much. I could not recover. I had to just end the stream. I couldn't talk. Because all the hurt came back to me. All the hurt and the defeat and how hard I had tried but certainly in the last year of my probably the last year and a half of my push to start the organization I began to say to you look if we're not going to get this organization going, then I can't waste my time here in America. If I can't get my people move, motivated here, I don't want to die on this soil. I know this is not humanity. This is not what existence is supposed to be. This is not it. This is not an authentic life experience, even down to the food and water. Everything about this society is fake. I said, so if it's not going to be liberation, then it's Africa for me. It's Africa for me. But I need you to understand how my soul is pulled in two directions. I'm a man who, whose life began right out the gate. My mother was in the hospital dying of tuberculosis. She's pregnant with me. And six months after giving birth to me, she died. I was still in the hospital. I never went home until I was just over a year old. So I immediately start out, boom, no mother. My father was on the road all the time, trying to make a way through his music and all of it. So it's my grandmother and me and my siblings. At that time, there was nine children. And then we lost. One of the boys died before I was born. So that's anyways. And without going too long and making this a book I'm just trying to say that at some point certainly after I lost my grandmother the most important thing to me the most important force the most important source of love the most important source of everything for me she passed away and I've always known that I had come to earth for something that was outside of myself. I think that's one and that's backed up by the fact by by the fact that I don't have a single selfish bone in my body. I've never been jealous. Those will never be attributes that describe me, but they and that is also consistent with my knowing that I was sent here for something greater outside of myself. And my task 
has been latching on to that. Latching on to that. Here we have social media where in a mouse click you can be around the world. Every day we see ourselves being slaughtered and beaten and disrespected at every level from not white supremacy, not police, white people as a whole, every single one of them, man, woman, and unborn child, I proclaim. To tiptoe and to try to divide is like cutting mold off of a block of cheese. It's still the same cheese. It's still the same cheese. You're just seeing the fruition of the spore when you see the mold. But that whole block of cheese has really got to go. So for me, it's not just about defund the police and <laughs> it's all the asses have to go. That's how I see it. But I knew there was things that we could do and I couldn't get my people motivated my brothers, my sisters were coming at me left and right. Jedi, I'm ready, I'm ready. No, no, sisters, no. Because I was also sick of that model. We always want to put our women up to do everything for us. That day has to be over. It's time that we earn the devotion, the loyalty, the love of our women, the respect. They're just giving it to us. We're not earning it. We're not earning it. And my soul bleeds for that too. Because I want our women to have so much more than what they think is normal. They don't even know what it is they're entitled to. I've tried to preach that. But I digress. Why I broke down in my last video is because Anjane was shouting, was was te was giving a testimonial. She's been with me forever, and it all just came rushing back to me. And I began to share the story of when my mission just was over, because I'd been at it for so many years, and here I was on a live stream. And on that particular day, there was a lot of brothers that were in the room and I start calling them out by name because I started complaining that again, my brothers are not stepping up. Where are my brothers? Join the Black Independence of Racial League. Where are you? Join, join, join. Reach out to me. You understand? I knew that everybody wasn't going to be eligible, you know, but I, I at least wanted the, the applicants. You understand? So I could, so I could separate the weeds from the grass. So this particular night, there was a lot of brothers that were in the chat room, and I said, "I, need, I at first and first I think I said something like, um, you know, probably just a general reach out to me." And then I just said, "No, no, y'all brother, these you, you brothers that are in the chat room right now, I'm calling you out by name, and I start calling the name so and so." Are you willing to be on a live on a on a Skype after this chat? And I said, you don't even have to join the organization. Just let us all that are in, all the brothers that are in the room right in the room right now. Let us get together on a group Skype after this, so we can discuss. And nobody responded. And the memory of that, as it broke me then, I think I ended the stream there on that particular one. I think I ended the stream. And then the next day, I think I did something like, um, this is it. I'm not doing no more videos. The Jedi, you've heard me for the last time. I'm done. You know. And I went away. I needed to reassess what else could I do to contribute.
because I'm not going to be on social media if I'm not here to do something with my people. I don't have anything else to bring. You understand? I'm a great cook. I'm not interested in doing a damn cooking video. I'm not interested. I'm not. I'm, I'm not interested in doing anything that does not meet the moment and time that we're in. Everything. I have many talents. There's a, any. Um, uh, there's many parts of me that I could. That I could um, exploit to 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 do something just to be on fucking social media. I'm not interested in that. The times are too critical, and I understand what we're in. There's no time for that hobby videos and stuff I'm not interested so I had to reassess and I came back and I just thought well I will just now do content that I said I said to you if I can't save you in this life maybe I can put out content that will help you to save your own souls in the next life you know and I did a bunch of my religious stuff and then I just started just doing whatever inspiration would come to me before that my inspiration had to be about what can I say to you now that will help you understand why we need liberation now but I just let all of that go now with these recent shootings my feelings are still the same I'm still the same guy it's never going to change my DNA is still made of the same stuff but I can't invest myself because I know the place I go to you understand I'm ready to arm up and answer every bullet that strikes us but I can't be alone and I can't get you. All that came rushing back at me. Why I have this picture on the screen is because that's just one shot from the Million Man March, which I was at, by the way. And I thought, There's a mil there's over actually there was over a million people out there, all right. Because the, the park service lied, because they they know certain markings. Like when you when the crowd is at a certain point, then you're definitely way past a million and all of that. So it was nearly two million people out there, two million brothers. And we were united out there. There was an intimacy amongst the brothers that I wish to God had lasted. Wow, what a beautiful day that was. And what could have come out of that? Everybody came there looking for a mission. A mission and God love him Farrakhan didn't have one it was just go back to your communities and be better men that's kind of the shorthand of it but we were we were ready to do anything he was gonna order even the government shut down that day they weren't gonna be on Capitol Hill because they thought we were coming to finally slaughter their asses and take the city but alas we didn't but we all came from all over everybody out there was from all over everywhere there was nearly two million of us out there people spent their money got hotels took buses, took trains, took flights, came from everywhere for that day. And it makes me wonder, here I sit, for two years now, I've been trying to raise a lousy $10,000 from my viewers, my followers, people that say they love me. 
and it's been so slow at the creeping. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. But it's still a, a sad commentary on us and our lack of unity and our lack of vision as a group. Do you understand? I want to give you the numbers in this video because I told you that I would give you the progress on my next video anyway. I just didn't know I was going to collapse in the last one. As of today, this is Monday, June 22nd. After much begging and pleading and corralling my people, which it shouldn't have taken this long, because hundreds of thousands of people have viewed me. Matter of fact, let's see what the view the view count is just on this channel. Because whatever the view count is on this doesn't represent the time that I have been doing this fundraiser. You must understand there was two channels that were shut down. That means that amount of people heard my plea. But we don't have that number anymore, so we just have to go off this one now. I'll tell you what it is. I'm not able to see it on... I think I have to be on a PC in order to see this, y'all. I'm trying to see what the lifetime of the channel viewership is. Excuse me. And I'm not seeing it. Um... Anyways, I have to get you the number on the on the actual amount of views that are on the channel because I don't know why I can't see that. But I know it's hundreds of thousands. My point is that hundreds of thousands of people have heard my plea. And unless I've got robots watching me, you know, and, and currently we stand at 3,000... 3,366 subscribers. Yet, today, we stand on the GoFundMe. As of this day, the total amount raised is $5,536. I'm deeply grateful. I'm deeply grateful. I told you guys the goal is 10000 I've been putting together my own 10000 My goal is to have a total of 20000 U.S. dollars. That translates to 100,000 Ghanaian CDs. I have to have a strong financial game when I hit the ground because I'm not coming back. And over the years and the thousands of hours that I've put in studying the country and the continent, quite frankly, everyone that I've seen who has failed is because they didn't understand the economics and they did not have a strong economic game when they landed. I also need to be strong financially because this trip is just not about me. It's not just about my move. I'm trying to lay a pathway that goes from A to Z, a blueprint for anyone who wants to move to, to Ghana, West Africa as well. I believe, as I've said many times, there are many of us that would have been out of here already if they just knew what to do. And as many thousands of hours as I have put in and continue to put in, I still have not found anyone who has done that. And there's some good people that have, you know, they show a lot of stuff and they film and they tell you and they educate, but nothing that starts you from A to Z. You understand? I have the phone number for the Ghanaian embassy in my phone and I call them I've heard no one mention that, that there's even embassies here. I'm moving to the country of Ghana. You would kind of need to know there's an embassy here in the United States. This is the type of thing I'm talking about. So there's $5,536 that has been raised on the GoFundMe on the Cash App. There is a total of $644 that has been raised on the Cash App. Our total 
campaign total is six thousand one hundred and eighty dollars we still need another three thousand eight hundred and twenty dollars everybody I've had videos where I've had ten thousand views when I've mentioned the campaign if everyone who watched just that one video had just given a dollar we would have been over what's the view on my last video my last live stream let me look at that the video or the view count on my last live stream is 302 people if everyone had given a dollar excuse me we'd be $300 closer my video before that was 398 views the one before that 448 views the one before that 554 views and you could keep going do you understand I could keep going back you know there's one here uh, I think it was the first video I did about Ahmad Arbery. That one's at 911 views. Um, you know, and then there's a lot of them here that are eight or nine or 700 views. My point is that if everyone who could have just given a dollar could, would have done that, we would have been over this campaign a very, 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 very long time ago. But our behavior is reflected in everything that we do that's why this picture is so beautiful because it was an opportunity that was missed that was missed yet again you know and this picture was on my mind too what this picture represents for me is victory and defeat all at the same time that's Tommy Smith and John Carlos and we don't care who the white dude is he doesn't matter but in this era now here we are again they were protesting the abuse and the murder and the savaging of our people and they were willing to give it all up they knew they had to do something this was last minute why they're both only wearing one glove is because they only had one pair so they each just took one and they decided just before they went out there they were going to do this they had to do something here we sit now and you got people criticizing Kyrie Irving because he has the heart of the Jedi it's just when we have an opportunity to do something we just can't do it and for somebody like me that's very frustrating it's highly frustrating I've told you a million times I'm not one of these people that's on this platform to come and just do sensational stories just for clicks and views I'm not that dude if it doesn't lead to something then it, it's 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 worthless we eat food because we want to be healthy and want to have energy if you're just eating food that doesn't do anything and you're just still dying then you just you're over it there's no need to eat it you're like well that food doesn't do anything for me I can't that's how I feel if, if it doesn't lead to something then you're just chasing your tail it literally is like chasing your, you see an animal you see a dog in the floor chasing a tail they're going nowhere they're literally just in a circle just chasing their tail just chasing their tail just chasing it going nowhere 
but constantly in motion, going absolutely nowhere. That's the best metaphor that I can come up with right now. I think it's, I think it's absolutely appropriate and descriptive. I'm cut from that cloth right there. That's what I'm cut from. That's what I'm cut from, and I'm proud of that. I'm proud of that. So, uh, today is Monday, and um, <clears throat> this is going to be kind of a busy week for me. Um, I also want to shout out Shiro. I'll be calling you. Um, my session yesterday was very life-changing. And I thank you so much. Um, I just so everybody knows, I don't think she will mind me sharing. Um, Shiro was um, one of my videos, I don't know, a few videos back. I was, in fact, it's the live stream I did for Facebook, which I told people, I'm gonna, I am made an announcement, I'm going to be on Facebook. I put the link to my Facebook, and there I was, and then my people couldn't show up. Like, do I just have robots watching me? Is it? I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, in that stream, my shoulder was killing me. I told you guys I have a, uh, what we thought was a fractured shoulder, but when I went to the ortho, he didn't even want to look at the CD. He just was like, it's a fractured shoulder. I'm like, well, can we just... Can we? Can you just put the CD in so we can look at it together? Like, at least do the dissertation for me. You know, that never happened. And I'm convinced it's a pinched nerve. You know, because I haven't, I don't, I haven't done anything to to fracture my shoulder. Uh, anyways, that night it was killing me, and I still persevered on. But uh, Chiro saw that, and she said she offered. She said, "I'd like to." pay for you to have a massage and I just was like oh how nice and I just kind of let it go and then she sent me an email and said no no I'm serious I'd like to do that for you I thought that was so deeply kind and I'm deeply honored and wow as my stomach growls I hope you guys didn't catch that in the audio I, wow and so um so I thank you, and I wanted to shout you out, Shiro. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All of you all who have not stepped up and donated to the to the campaign, I need you to please step up now. Now is the time. As I say, we're only $3,820 away from the goal. Um, and... It, as it is, the the entire goal of ten thousand dollars is not a lot of money at all. I just was watching Doctor Oz, um, in the last day or something. It was on my DVR, and there was some kid that he had shown the story of. The kid had been, I guess, the video had gone viral or something, and he was showing it on his show. The kid was colorblind, and some group or somebody brought him some glasses that they've made that when colorblind people wear them they can see you know real color and the kid was crying and it was a very emotional thing and then he set up a GoFundMe he and his mother because he said well I want to now do something for other kids that don't have who are colorblind excuse me and he wanted to raise excuse me he wanted to raise $350 well, his campaign, in a matter of five seconds, was at $36,000. I'm happy for him. But I use that to say, I can't get my people to come out of the pocket with $10,000. And we're, we're thank God we're at $6,180 now. But it's been since, my God, let me look at the date on the campaign. <sighs> I'm trying to move to Ghana, West Africa, everybody. I'm trying to be up out of here. And I've never been the one who has come and at to 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 I don't I told you guys I don't have Patreons and PayPal's and all this other nonsense. I never set any of that stuff up. 
because what I've come to this platform to do, I've come to 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 be as one of my people and to give of myself from from myself to my people. I bragged for years. I don't monetize my channel. I don't monetize my channel. I'm not here for money. This blah, 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 blah. Some point after I got over, I think, 10,000 subscribers, which they had been sending me emails after I had 1,000 subscribers. They were like, be a, be a YouTube um, partner and all this stuff. And I was happy to deny all of that. But it wasn't until I think I was at 10,000 subscribers. I might have been a little under. But my YouTube cousins, Lynette, Lynette and Stanley, we were Skyping one day. And they said, Jedi, do you ever sign out of your channel? I'm like, nah, I'm usually just signed in. I don't even know my sign in. And they were like, you need to sign out. And you'll see that they're running, they're running, they run ads on your videos. Well, that pissed me off. Because that meant that this white devil was benefiting on my sweat and my time. And I don't take kindly to that. And it's for that reason only that I monetize my channel. But that still didn't do anything because when I first monetized it, I think I made a few hundred dollars just like right out because just because I don't know if it was retro or something like that, whatever. But then right after that, you'll remember that's when they start coming through with the everything's not advertiser friendly and they were shutting down videos and everything's a copyright strike and you can't and, you know, just all their white devil fucking bullshit. So that's fine, but why I mention that even is because if I were making money on YouTube, I wouldn't have asked my people for anything at all when I knew that I wanted to move to Africa, period. But I need you. I need you. I can't do this by myself. And if I'm going to, it's going to take a lot longer. So I need you. I need your help. I need your help. I'm trying to see what is the date that I set up this campaign. Okay, according to the campaign, it was set up June 16th, 2018. So we're just literally at two years. Two years. It's a long time, everybody. And the only reason why it's been that long is because so many people have just gone right past me as if I didn't say it. That hurts. That just feels personal. You know, I just have to be perfectly honest. It, it just feels personal. It feels like a, a rejection, you know. Everybody can show up and watch your videos, but then they, when you need something, they just act like you didn't say it. It hurts. It hurts. I'm a man. I'm a human. I'm a person. You know, I'm not, I'm not immortal, everybody. I can be hurt, and I am hurt. I'm deeply hurt. You know? But I'm hurt. Anyway, I say again, my avenues to donate to this campaign, everybody, is the link for the GoFundMe is under the video. You can also go to Cash App. I have put my cash tag name there as well. On Cash App, I am the Jedi 1814. There's no capitalizations, there's no spaces. For those of you who are familiar with Cash App, you know what it's all about. For those of you who are not, you download it from the from the app store on your phone. It's absolutely free. And the benefit that you get of donating, because it's your first time using the app, is you get $5. So, I liked that, that there was at least some kind of a kickback from my people, you know. 
I've done everything I know to do. Somebody asked me recently, do I have a Patreon? I don't know how to do Patreon. I looked it up and I realized it's, it's the same thing as Cash App basically or PayPal or anybody else. All of these are just you um, electronically sending money. So there's really no difference. So if you can donate on Patreon, you can donate on Cash App. You know, like I do a lot of work to to present myself to my people in my work and I just think you can go the extra mile if you need to in order to download the app in order to donate a few dollars I just think that's fair you know when you look back over my body of work and you see that the type of work that I've put in over the years even since this channel this is the newest channel because this channel I, I had to start restart after the other ones were shut down my big channel you know so this is the the one that's been trying to come back come back come back so to speak <clears throat> excuse me and you'll see that I was always trying to up my technology better ways to present stuff for you hours and hours and hours of of work in in just one video you understand you can go and there's there a lot of that work is on this channel you can go and see what I'm talking about. You know, I've said to my people, go and watch my body of work. See what I've done. See what I've done. See what I've done. You know, it's just that since I, ever since I was planning my move for Africa, I immediately began to downsize my life. Completely. Even my move to where I live now, it'll be three years in October, was a blessing. Because that was that was going to be happening anyway. It's just that the universe made it happen sooner than I thought it was going to happen. So that was fine. And my production value now is I have to be on camera every single video because I am dedicated to my audience. And it's a lot easier for me to just do something where I'm not on camera. I don't have to get myself prepared I don't got to brush my teeth I don't got to do anything I can be in my underwear but no no I care about you so it's important for me to present my best to you at every time and because I don't have internet because I'm not gonna pay eighty dollars a month for internet it's just outrageous I can't justify it you times that times 12 that's another nine hundred and sixty dollars homie a year that's Africa homie that's Africa that's Africa so I, I can't justify it you understand and as I've told you in one of my recent pieces and many times nothing else in my life costs that the thing I'm most respond that, that costs the most in my life is my damn rent that's it my car insurance doesn't cost that my cell phone doesn't cost that my light and gas doesn't cost that I like I nothing in my life costs that do you understand so I, it's just it's not it's not it's I, I'm not doing it I'm not doing it I'm not doing it it's too much it's too much you know if I wasn't moving to Africa I'd, I'd find I'd have it but as I say I times everything times 12 and how much is that per year Nah, we're not doing that. <clears throat> we're not doing that. That's nearly a thousand dollars. So I just I can't do it. I can't. I can't. But I mention that because, like I say, because I don't have my internet, then I can't be on like I used to be articles, and then I'm on one side of the screen, and I have the article, and I can be with you, and things like that, and I can fade in and out, and I love doing all of that. You understand? But I'm not doing that now. So now I have to be on camera for every single video and that is a strain in itself, you know, and a sacrifice really, you know, I don't mind doing it at all, everybody, like I say, for me, it's just that this is my hour of need and I also have to think about not just the legacy of my people, but I also have to be thinking about my own mortality and my own destiny and my own arc of life. I do not want to die on American soil. I don't. And I've never wanted anything more in my life than this. 
just haven't. I'm sick and tired of Africa being some distant place that we read about or see videos of now, you know, or somebody tells you about it or something like that. I'm sick of it. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I've made my plan and I'm ready to execute. And I need your help the rest of the way. So let this be the time now that you finally uh, participate and go to the GoFundMe. The link is in the description box under the video. Or you can go to the Cash App, which I put my Cash App, Cash App tag there as well. I'll put it here on the screen now. Boom. The Jedi 1814. That's what it is. When you go to the Cash App, you will see me in a red shirt. That's how you'll know you definitely reached me. And when you go to the GoFundMe, obviously you'll see my a glorious picture of me and there's videos there of me explaining the campaign and all of that let's get the rest of this done everybody let's just get it done I I have to keep asking until we're done I know what I need and my instruction from the universe has been very clear and whenever you ignore the whisper that's when you go wrong Never ignore it. Never ignore it. I'm a student of the one who create who creates. And he has taught me <clears throat> how to listen and to recognize when I'm being whispered to. Because that is the guidance for your life from one moment to the next. Every single thing that you do. I've told you, if you can master that your whole life changes your whole life changes so i should be back in the next couple of days everybody like i say i have a lot that i need to take care of in my personal life and things i'm responsible for and things i need to do but i wanted to come and um bring what i've brought in this piece and to implore my people to go to this to uh, and to go to this campaign and to help us knock out this last leg of it I also want to again say thank you to those of you who have made this six thousand one hundred eighty dollars possible may the blessing of the Creator be upon you may he increase you in every endeavor in this life and may he count you among the favored on the great day of judgment that is my prayer and I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart thank you 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 for understanding the vision and understanding that you could play a part God bless you oh my god I hope that the next time that I report to you on this fundraiser I will say Praise be to the Most High. We are done, everybody. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. And you won't have to hear me begging anymore. But I have to continue to beg and to ask and to plead and implore. I must continue. I must. I must. I must. So, God willing, I will see you soon. This is the Jedi.